I'll show you a very effective and fast workflow that you can wipe code any UI without touching Figma design within minutes and use it in the app that you're working on. My tool stack is Cloud Code and ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT to analyze the image. So I'm going to basically rebuild this UI. ChatGPT has better eye than cloud. I'm going to analyze the image, feed the analyze to cloud code to build it for me. Let's do it. Steal my prompt. So basically I took a screenshot and I asked it to do a deep analyze. I will add the prompt in the comments so you can steal it. So let's see what it does. So after a few minutes, ChatGPT gave me the JSON file and a prompt. I'm going to use that and feed it to Cloud Code and ask it to build it. So I pasted the spec in Cloud Code, all the JSON that it needs, the prompt, the screenshot example, and I'm going to ask it to build it. So first I asked Cloud Code to give me a plan. It analyzed it, gave me a plan. I did not go back and forth because I wanted to see whether with one shot it can get it right. It's an experiment. I will know whether it's going to happen or not. I'm sure it will, but I gave it a very complex UI. In my previous attempts, the UI was simpler, but if Cloud Sonnet 4.5 can get this one over the line, it's game over, really. My previous attempt was with previous models and I gave it a simpler UI. But this one, we shall find out. So moment of truth, the build is done. And to be honest, I am sort of impressed. If you look at what I gave it to and what I received, it's pretty close. But look, this is a very, very difficult UI to get right. So I'm going to give it another prompt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to analyze the build. You do not want the same agent that built it for you to analyze it because it's going to make the same mistakes again. So I'm going to ask another agent to analyze it, the build, and cross-check it again with the designs and give it another prompt and see what it will return we will find out so what i did was i went to chat gpt codex and basically um, push all of my code to the github so it can access to it chat gpt codex can access to GitHub branch and I gave it all the information it needs. And I now asking ChatGPT to look into the code and see what went wrong. And I get there its instruction, give it back to cloud code and I give it another try and see what happens. As you can see, it started to work. Uh, I've heard really good things about Codex. I haven't tried it, but there is a lot of potential. It's something that I'm testing right now as well. And we shall find out. It's a massive prompt, probably going to take some minutes to analyze, but it's running the command, which is very impressive. I haven't worked with Codex before. From developers I trust, they're using Codex to evaluate code and builds, and it's doing its job, really. So, yeah. We find out so cool like it's it's giving me update working on your task reading main tx tsx um this is going to be game changer really i think chat gpt what it really good at um especially gpt the new gpt is to uh, traditionally i the way i've been using cloud versus gpt is cloud to design and implement and gpt to GPT models are really good at analyzing infrastructure, the way codes is written. So with the codex, I can now use it, use GPT much better to analyze code. Before I had to really, with the chat GPT desktop, I had to, I had difficulties to um, give the code and ask it to 
analyze. So we will see how it does, but so far so good. This is brilliant. It's been working seven minutes to understand the entire code base, images, and my initial prompt. Seven minutes and AI engine connected to massive, massive resource of compute. So what I'm expecting is a flawless instru instruction that I give it to cloud code is going to improve what we have seen. So to recap, this is what it did. It's almost there, but the layout is broken and I cannot use it. Pretty impressive. That was one. This is not a easy UI to get right. So I wasn't expecting it. I was actually expecting it to get to not seeing this. So the fact I'm seeing this, I'm excited to see whether with one more shot to bring this closer to what we have, right? So Codex is still working, running command. Eight minutes of work, mate. That's a lot. That's a lot, but it's doing its thing. So let it work and we find out. So after working for 10 minutes, Codex returned to me the JSON that I need to give it to Cloud Code. It's ready. I'll give it to Cloud Code and see what it does. So as you can see, wow, this has been interesting, really. I think uh, it's still working, but I don't expect to do further more on it. But it's very close to what has been returned. So first of all, I, if I were to take this UI and apply it for a project, I would still need to uh, fix the layout here. The layout, I think the reason that, especially the profile is cramped, is that it needs to be as the same width as this card based on the design, right? That's not a difficult fix. I can get it done very, you know, with one or two prompts. Same, that would fix this issue here. So basically, with one or two proper prompt, I could get it close, get it almost there to the designs. Um, you know, there are different UI elements it has chosen. It could be because of the library it's used. I didn't really, I wanted to have a one shot prompt. So I didn't choose the library, I didn't choose the exact uh, UI style, but based on the ui library it has access to pick the right one which i admire uh, has interactiveness to it which is really cool i didn't ask it did it for me and voila you have it so my flow was uh, with chat gbt i specify the prompt ask cloud to build it then with ChatGPT Codex, which I've used in front of you for the first time, I deeply analyzed it, took a 10-minute analyze, and impressed, I would say. And the return after the first the uh, Codex analyze, and then import, input the prompt to Cloud Code, that's what I got, which is almost there. And I need to do a bit of fine-tuning, and then I'll have it. So. Overall, it took me about one hour of trying to get this UI coded. Now I have all the components. I can use this as a baseline for a potential new project. Of course, I'm not going to copy and paste this because it's someone's design. This is an imaginary project. But potentially, you can leverage this a lot in your own project especially as early stage startup that you don't have so much fun you can basically even take it further you can create a mood board and go back and forth try to find your own style i would not recommend you of course to get someone designed from dribble and you know paste it and copy it exactly and use it of course that's not a good practice but i wanted to showcase to you how you can really go from UI image, not a Figma design, because with Figma design right now with the MCP, you can basically get a lot done. Figma MCP is really powerful and it translates almost one-on-one what you design on Figma and bring it to the code. 
that's not the case. What I've done, I just gave it a simple um, PNG and it did it for me. So the, the potential is huge, especially if you are lacking resources across the board, you can pull up your sleeves and within one or two hours, create a baseline. What you could do, for example, here is that uh, use pick bunch of designs that you like in Dribbble and mix and match, mix and remix it with ChatGPT as your creative agent and uh, get to a design that, that fits your product, your brand, and then start using that as the baseline. I'm very impressed, really. I think uh, the problems I had with uh, Cloud and ChatGPT to interpret designs a few months back, it's almost gone, still there but has been drastically reduced. What we are seeing, especially with Figma MCP, translating our design into front and ready app has been breathtaking, very impressive stuff. And I'm going to create more videos for you on that. But that was the video for today. Until the next quick one, happy wipe coding.